The views expressed in the following podcast are result of ancient prophecy combined with alcoholic lubrication, as was foretold. They do not reflect the views of our employers, spouses, friends, or prophets of old. Thus saith the prophecy. If you're still listening, we recommend that you find your local sackcloth dealer and repent in ashes. Your mileage may vary. Welcome to Two and Change. The people are real, the drinking is real, and the opinions, unfortunately, are also real. On today's show... Wall? Uh, no. Shutdown? No. Saudi Arabian woman granted refugee status in Canada. Uh, no. Although, you know, that would have been a good one. Politician swearing? Uh, fuck no. No. On tonight's show, we discuss the new police powers in Canada when it comes to breathalyzers. But first... Brexit. Cambridge Analytica? Drone shutting down Gatwick and Heathrow. Declining stock market? Nike releasing a new Kaepernick commercial. Oh, the random American charged with espionage in Russia. Trump backsliding on the so-called immediate pullout of Syria. It could be the GM protest in Detroit. Just look, we only have a few minutes. Okay, we're also going to talk about the gas pipeline protesters blocking one of the busiest highways in North America, the 401, right outside of our fair city of London, Ontario. Good? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it sounds good. Well, you know, actually, I just read this. Did you hear that Trump? No, 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 no definitely no. no. <laughs> Welcome to Two and Change. You're this just smiling at the camera. Josh, <laughs> I have to smile at the camera. It's right in front I'm of me. I'm ignoring yeah, the camera. They can't see your mouth. It's it's candid. It's, they can it, see my mouth. This is intended to be a candid shot. Thankfully, they can see your mouth, Tim. I'm not looking at the camera, guys. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Uh, you're the one who makes the sex jokes, not me. I think you just made the sex joke. Uh, and I don't think so. All Anyways, right, all right, all right. what are you drinking, Josh? I am drinking Mill Street Organic because I just brought a crap load of it to fill up uh, Tim's beer fridge. Well, you know, we, we ask that Josh every 20th time bring a bottle of beer or something. Yeah, so, so then I bring like 30 <laughs> and then I, it's... He's good for the next 20 years, I guess, <laughs> basically. Basically, based on that math. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I call it a fun weekend. He calls it the next 30 years. I wouldn't compromise. It's a fantastic thing. <laughs> this is Mike. I'm drinking Diet Coke combined with... Uh, I'm still polishing off his old liquorman's Dirty Canadian whiskey. Polishing off makes it sound like I'm drinking the rest of the half a bottle of whiskey tonight. That's not I happening. I think you should. Uh, you think I should? <laughs> old, yeah. dirty nail polish remover. That yeah. might kill him. <laughs> Which... I, it, it wouldn't, but I mean, it's, it's, you know, when you mix it with that Coke, it's not bad. Um, but I still bemoan the fact that you don't have regular Coke. I don't want aspartame. I want sugar. Yeah. Sugar. Tim. I don't think you need sugar. Sugar. God, no, I don't want to see you. Ca uh, I, caffeinated's bad enough. Anyway, of course, this is Tim. I am drinking Johnny Walker Black Lab with a splash of club soda because I'm all fancy like that. And hey, I just want to acknowledge. So we're recording this as we're not going out live because I want to edit it a bit later because of, you know, you well, don't want to see us live. No, no. No, no, it's, it's we did, it's we did that horrendous. once. It was it was a nightmare. It, it, it's going to be funny because when I edit, it's like <laughs> yeah, exactly. jump cuts like in a vlog from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like ding ding ding. Yeah, it's great. Can you put yeah. like action superhero cuts in? <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Bam. yeah. <laughs> I've got the Windows 10 movie editor app, and I'm going to use every single <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah. Flower yeah. transitions. Awesome. It's a good thing. So flower transitions. Corn. <laughs> Without describing us as Whitey McStraight Cracker, this is Two and Change, a show where three people of unknown ethnic origin uh, sit around and drink and discuss... <laughs> Why are you even bringing it up? Yeah. This isn't any better. <laughs> Not better. Yeah. We're three guys who sit around and drink and we, we talk do. about stuff and we know things. That's pretty much what we do. And you can tell from the camera that we blend right into the paint, okay? We do. Yes. We are the realistic 21st century version of Tyrion Lannister. That is what we are. It, it really is. You know, this, it's a show that's based modeled after a barroom conversation with all of the Except vulgarity associated with it and we get laid a lot less <laughs> and we're a little taller uh says wait, wait a second aren't all three of us married oh yeah yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> anyway so tonight's first topic as i alluded to so today outside london and kingston ontario yeah. two indigenous convoys and i'm gonna mess up the names of course so one was from the oneida nation of the thames and chippewa of the thames first nation Love and it. the mohawk nation of the uh, echoes Aquisane, I think. Nailed it. Uh, slowed down traffic along two busy sections at peak hours of the 401. Now, that's, if you don't know, one of the busiest highways in North America. It just happens to come right through our yard. Uh, the protesters are snarling traffic in solidarity with the 
Wet'suwet'en uh, hereditary chiefs over lack of consultation for building a natural gas pipeline in northern BC. Okay, so this obviously is a bit more of a complicated topic because, first of all, you have like a, lot a pipeline. Of okay, so rather than talk about the whole pipeline going through First Nations land, because we've covered that in the show, yep. let's talk about the method of protest. Which is a slow-moving, 60-kilometer-hour, slow-moving protest across the 401. Now, is this a legal protest? Did the OPP do the right thing by escorting him, keeping other cards away? I mean, what do we think? So, I can tell you, in my experience, it's been done before. Back in 06, when I was running for federal par- uh, for federal parliament, it was one of the things that uh, I encountered. I actually had to go to this event where every all the candidates were going because the farmers had actually done something similar down near Wallaceburg area. Mm-hmm. They had basically blocked off a section of the 401 with their tractor and they had driven down the 401 at like 40 kilometers an hour in their tractors, uh, protesting the fact that there's, I don't know, government subsidies or something that we're missing. I don't know. I don't even know what they were complaining about, which tells me Hmm. that the protest was not very effective as raising awareness because I was the freaking candidate and I didn't know what they were (laughs) mad about. They wanted money. That's all I knew. Uh, So in that sense, I'm not impressed with the method of of, of it. Is it legal? I suppose it's legal. Um, Well, at least they went 60, not 40, or were in tractors. Yeah, right. Well, okay, well, here's the other thing. I can't drive 55. (laughs) <laughs> oh, By the we, way, in, we owe Sammy in, Hager in money. Call, he has so much. Yeah, in yeah. what you call freedom units, the speed limit is 100 <laughs> kilometers an hour, which is criminally low on that road to begin with, <laughs> and that would be 62 miles per hour. It sounds like a libertarian Bitcoin-based currency. Yeah, oh. yeah. In, <laughs> you use it to buy gold. Exactly. But sir, I'm all out of freedom units. Yeah, freedom oh, units. Okay. In, in what the Americans sorry, call no bread units. for you, Timmy. Yeah, in what the Americans call freedom <laughs> units, it's about 62 miles per hour is the speed limit, the legal speed limit on that road, which is criminally low. Well, no one actually goes and no one actually enforces it. It's closer to 120. Yeah, uh, sure. They can enforce it 100, but that usually means someone's got a quota. Yeah, yeah, basically. I, I don't necessarily... Don't be have, the fastest one on the road. You'll be fine. I don't, yeah, I don't necessarily it. have a problem with the uh, protest method. I mean, it's been done a bunch of times by a bunch I don't, of I, I guess, I guess the, for me... It was, I don't know more did it a bunch of times, for yeah. instance. I only know of these two, the farmers in Wallaceburg and... Yeah, and it's, the, it's been done a few times, and I think... But what it, where it kind of, like, I start twitching a little bit is that... So the farmers in Wallaceburg, did they get coverage on the CBC, and it made it seem like a huge, huge deal? It was... Sort of covered, but not yeah, this that is made much. a huge yes. deal. It was on like the uh, the hourly news briefs from CBC. It was on like well, their job is to sell newspapers. They have to cover what's interesting. Farmers are not interesting. So fun fact: CBC does not do newspapers. Nor have they ever. Okay, you know what I'm talking <laughs> about, right? They, they do broadcasting, that, whatever. Like that, they have to. That get being ratings. said, I, I actually don't think it was. I think it was about adequate coverage for it i d- barely yeah. noticed it and uh well you don't drive on the 401 no well <laughs> no i would i would have noticed it if <laughs> i was on the 401 but Believe the thing me. is i probably would have thought it was an accident on like guelph line or something yeah like, exactly something. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it if i were driving on the effect. 401 i would have been very annoyed by the protest especially yeah. if i were not given advance warning of it and well, i don't know if we were or not. then it's not really a good protest <laughs> well actually yeah it is like the farmers gave notice they're like we're going to do this and they informed the police and the police informed like it was, it was a thing. yeah the the police gave escort in this yeah. case and i think you know i i think that okay so i mean it is a legal protest they went the legal legal minimum speed limit i guess which there that does exist apparently it's not posted because you know some granny's going to do it if you actually post it but i think there is a legal minimum speed limit you're allowed to go i thought that if you were going like 95 uh, that is below the speed limit, and you can be charged not with going below the posted speed limit, but with quote obstructing traffic. You can do that too. I mean, if but that's more for if you're like driving the left lane at 95. That that's what that's for. Actually, that also happened not on the 401. The 402 branches off of the 401 and goes towards. Yeah, they, they actually started on the 402 and went up the 401. Oh, is that what? The, okay, yeah, they, they come from the reserve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So, like, there's a there's a protest that happened some time ago that was not done with police escort or anything like that. There were people who were protesting because I guess some kids were driving on the 402. Everybody goes like you said. Everybody goes 120. Yeah. And then this one kid was going it's the speed like of traffic. And every this one kid was going like 125 or 126, something like that. Got pulled over and got ticketed for the full kick. So. Yeah. He and a buddy went on the 402 and did exactly 100 kilometers an hour side by side. Which is illegal. From Sarnia all the way to... Now, they're both going the legal speed limit. But that's still illegal if you're impeding the flow of traffic. And that's exactly what they got charged with, obstructing the Good. flow of traffic. Good. Bullshit. Yeah. Because, well, and I mean, but at the same time, it did draw attention to something. The speed limit is too low on that road. It is. No, well, here's the thing. Well, it really draws attention if you can't do the if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. I mean, that's really what it is. Fair enough. I yeah. mean, here's the thing. If I'm going 120 on the 401, yeah. I get pulled over for speeding. Yeah. I was speeding. Which... 
And that's exactly my point. I was speeding. That's bullshit. But they don't like, really pull you over unless you're doing something stupid. Yeah. Like driving 100 side by side. Well, here's... I, I want to bring us back, though, to the original topic, which is... which is Oh, this, um, the, yeah, the, the, the protest. The, the protest and, and whether or not it's an effective protest method or whether it's 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 something well, that should be done. we're talking about it. We yeah. Are. Hey, yeah. First Nations, you're getting the two and change bump. Exactly. Two and change bump. The two and change bump. Patented. First Nations. You owe us money. Now, hold on. <laughs> I heard you use the word indigenous, and I heard you use the word First Nations. I can't keep up. Which one of those two terms is offensive now? Neither. Wait. I thought that one of them we weren't allowed to use anymore because they had to go with one or the other. No, because you can no. be indigenous without being First Nations. What? We can be First Nations, Métis. Yeah. Anyway. There's, other, there's other forms of indigenous without being a, a member of First Nations. His mind's blown right now. We'll get back to him. Yeah, we'll get back to him in a minute. <laughs> So he, he, we just blue screened to death to him right yeah. in the brain. <laughs> this is when you need to back out of the camera view. <laughs> Mumble, grumble in, liber- in libertarian right now. Like I just, okay, all right, cool. Yep. Hey, uh, isn't it the ultimate libertarian wet dream? Just say, this is what I identify as. Therefore, don't I have the ultimate freedom to decide what I want to be called? How is that inconsistent with being a libertarian? You know what? It's actually not. I'll, I'll take the point. How about this is I live here and I get to do with this land what I wish. Ooh. I do live here. I want I want the rights to kill whatever I want to kill because we signed a contract saying I can eat whatever the fuck I want to eat. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? Cash me outside. How about that? How about that? Uh, yes. You know what? You know who else did this actually a lot as uh, a tactic was a few years back when Black Lives Matter was at its peak. Um, they did... Before they became shit. irrelevant? Well, I wouldn't say uh, they're irrelevant, say but they're it's irrelevant, just... But did, I, mean, I don't think they got the attention in Canada that, you know, they... They blew their their chance. They basically I, I disrupted the, the, the gay the pride, pride parade. Yeah. That really discredited them, and for good reason. What they did was disrespectful. It was dumb what they did at gay pride. They, and they and they put the and they put the uh, they put the LGBTQ plus I guess now community. See that that that's where I, that's where I start. If th- that's where the alphabet soup in my head kind of goes, like um, we're starting to put special characters in it. That's your that's your line right there. It's, it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, I, I, I if I can use the words that someone would prefer to be identified as, yep. Just you know, don't 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 yell at me if I accidentally skip one. Right. Exactly. If, yeah. I, if I'm yeah. trying, I'm, I'm offended. Trying. You forgot the plus sign. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm trying yeah. here. You know? I can actually tell you. So I actually encountered a meme this week that made me literally snort out loud into my drink. It was great. Uh, there was so uh, you guys know that I'm a man of faith. I go to a church and it's like this this acronym of you know can rc crc whatever it is right and if you basically uh this this meme basically said lgbtq qq plus plus whatever it was and then it was just like the presbyterians this is the t- uh, type of christian were going this is getting out of hand it's too many letters also presbyterians we've got crc prcna urcna urc can rc crc like there's just this ridiculous like list of <laughs> of, of acronyms for our like twenty five thousand different denominations of churches well i mean i mean really at the end of the day However you want to identify, however you want to be called, I, I think, you know, you you have a fundamental right over your identity, and I'm not going to be a dick about it. That That's that's how, if, if you want to try, call your church the 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 Canadian Reformed Latter-day Church of Flying Spaghetti Monster, I, fine. The I, only one true <laughs> God is Campbell Soup. Ooh. I thought it was Nicolas Cage. <laughs> what, was that, what, was that, what was that family guy That's thing? That's the son of Campbell Soup. No, no, no. Nicolas Cage has his own subreddit called One True God. And it's like full of pictures of Nicolas Cage saying, I saw our Lord and Savior at this location. Our like Lord and Savior. Nicolas Cage. Which <laughs> I don't care for him as an actor. So uh. I don't know where that came from. Well, I don't think anyone cares for him as an actor. Well, that's because he's way too calm. Instead of, oh, you're going to kill my brother and take over the world. Yeah, that's a terrible that, thing. That, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence and kidnap the President of the United States. Yeah, that's a terrible thing. I'm going to do that. I, 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 was, I was a ranger, and I'm going to take over this plane because yeah. I can go see my baby girl. And I'm, and I'm way too cool about it, but that's okay. <laughs> well, no, you're, you're, no, 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 no you're, you're, slipping into, you're slipping into what's uh, Matthew McConaughey there. Yeah. Well, Matthew McConaughey, uh, is, uh, he's just like, it doesn't matter what I'm doing because I'm sick. Sexy. Yeah. Fuck turd. That's what I'm what, doing. What's, what's a fuck turd? Yeah. There's, there's, a, <laughs> there's a boat. There's a boat in Africa in a sunken river. We're going to go find it. It's got some treasure on it. That's that, that's getting back there. I don't I don't understand what he's referencing. All right, so we are kind of getting to where we have Indigenous to Indigenous protests, do they okay. have the right to protest? Well, yes. of course was they have the right effective? to protest. Was, was it, it effective? effective is the question. I'm going to go with no. 
Okay, why not? Uh, well, part of the reason is because you told me after the fact that it even happened, and I was like, what? <laughs> well, it was effective for the people on the 401 and people listening to CBC. So, I mean, that, 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 gets, that gets some ears. But they won zero friends from the people they uh, they protesters rarely get friends man yeah, but well, hold on like the people on the like there's a oh we raised awareness on the 401 yeah and everybody hates you all the drivers on the 401 <laughs> oh, no, hate no, no, yeah. you okay but here's here's to counter that uh, protests aren't necessarily uh, whether they're effective or not is a whole nother argument but that's not the point of fr- uh, protests it's not the point is not our civil disobedience in general it's not to make friends when for instance for extreme examples when Rosa Parks sat on the bus do you think she made a lot of her friends no she pissed a lot of people off but also got a <laughs> lot of especially the white dude who wanted to sit down yeah, yeah. but he also, was really angry <laughs> also got a lot of support from a lot of people though True. Like, she's it, on her new ten dollar bill now I think wait no no that, that's that's, that's the, one, the one who sat that's... the one who sat in the theater right you're, you're you're thinking of you're thinking of the wrong country here <laughs> yeah yeah, because Viola our, Desmond. So you're thinking of? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, sat in a theater in in a white area and was told to leave or whatever and didn't. Yeah, which was which in this country was a thing. That was a thing. That we don't like to admit it, but that was a, now that was eighteen oh, hey. dickety two. Oh, Canadians. I don't know when the, when was Canadians that? are still kind of racist as fuck. We just you know. Well, the target of our racism is usually <laughs> hate to say it, the indigenous Google people. Google Africa. Yeah, well, that's a yeah. that's a yeah. like we're we're pretty right, good, so... I think, toward toward like you know African American people, but our indigenous relations are terrible. And oh, that's God, yes. what this okay. protest was about. Yeah. All right, so we kind of need to get to a break here. So right. when we come back, we're going to do our weekly WTF, yeah. and we're going to talk about the new breathalyzer thing, which you know, um, I'm a little bit interested in right now, but yeah, I don't have to drive. Grumbles <laughs> and libertarian <laughs> grumbles. And Anyway, we'll see you in a bit. Thanks for listening to Two and Change. Thanks for listening to Two and Change. Oh, you're copying me now? Oh, you're you're copying copying me now? Stop that. Stop that. I'm an idiot. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come check out our website at twoandchange.ca, see the blog post that these two hosers and I put up every once in a while, and leave us a comment on our podcast. I'm an idiot. Not now. Okay. Jeez. All right, everyone. You know what time it is. Weekly TF time. Weekly what the f***? Time! All right, everyone. So this is the part of the show where we get to round up our favorite WTF news from the week. So you don't have to. Think of it as our way of giving back to the community. So it looks like Florida Man has been a little too busy as a wild pack of monkeys with killer herpes are breeding like crazy in Florida. According to Ars Technica, wild rhesus macaques are now considered a public health threat due to the spread of the Maxine Herpes Virus 1, otherwise known as Herpes B, or Monkey B Virus. Monkey B getting busy, am I right? (laughs) Uh, I'm not going anywhere near my boss. He's been in Tampa for the next (laughs) And on the fourth blast of the trumpet, the angel poured out his bowl full of... People with nothing better to do with their day, I guess. According to UK Metro, Sunday, January 20th, the full lunar eclipse has the usual suspects preparing for the apocalypse. Hmm, fun. Uh, we'll see what they write. And speaking of pending signs of apocalypse, Baby Shark, the catchy earworm that your friend that really hates you made you listen to, has now cracked Billboard's Hot 100's Top 40 list at number 32. You gotta be kidding me. Surely the end is nigh. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. Oh, God, I need a beer. Well, I guess we won't be getting one from the U.S., though. At least nothing new. The latest victim of the government shutdown are craft brewers. <gasps> According to Mental Floss, all new beers, wine, and other alcoholic beverages require review by the Alcohol, Tobacco, Tax, and Trade Bureau, which has closed down during the shutdown. I beg you, Americans, please just give Trump his wall. Won't someone please think of the craft beer? I know this may want you to drink, but uh, just don't drink too much of it at home. The Canadian government can now demand breathalyzer tests in your home or at bars and restaurants. Uh If the police suspect you have violated impaired driving laws for up to two hours ago, they can mandate you take a breathalyzer. 
If you refuse, you could be arrested, face a criminal record, ordered to pay a fine, or even subjected to a driving suspension. And that's this week's What the Fuck News. Thank you so much for joining, and let's get on with it. Mike! Talking about the breathalyzer thing, I suppose, for a second topic, and, uh, and, uh, well... (sighs) All right, all right. Deep breath. Take your time. Use use your words. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, hold on a second. If you haven't done anything wrong, you have nothing to fear, citizen. <laughs> <laughs> citizen. Uh, what are you thinking? So, um, everything. God, editing this, this one's going to be a freaking mess. Let's. let's- <laughs> Let's start with what's the wrong other ones. here. First of all, the first thing that's wrong here is that this is being passed on the federal level, whereas traffic regulation has always been a provincial matter, so the federal government has already overstepped its bounds before it even considered this issue. No, no, uh, no, no. Crim- a criminal crime is different than... A criminal crime versus a, criminal a non-criminal criminal crime. crime. Yeah, this is why I'm fucking drinking coffee, guys. <laughs> Which is apparently illegal, because we two hours ago beer. we were driving. No. What, are you, what are you, a sorority girl? No, I'm just that tired. The, uh, um... See? See? So, no. Uh, the criminal code, uh, driving over 80... Yeah. Uh, or driving over 0. 0.80, that is an actual criminal offense, which is under the federal criminal code. Okay, fine. What you're referencing is provincial. There's two different things. Okay, fine. So don't I, confirm. I two grant, different things, Mike. I grant that Trudeau had the jurisdiction to talk about this area, but... There are two. Two. Two, two different things areas. in one. Hey, oh, all right. So, yeah, well, I mean, keep on. I'm furious with the provincial government as well over the distracted driving law that went kind yeah. of to effect as well. So it's like everything about driving is wrong right now. So basically, for those who are not aware, here's what it means. The police right now could bang on Tim's door and demand a breathalyzer from all three of us and then suggest, say, something along the lines of, I think you were driving within two hours ago, here's your fine. And and we basically face criminal charges for it. Like, yeah, that you'd is have what- to go to court and order. And, like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not in favor of this. Let's, let's keep this in mind. I mean, this sounds like more of this Mothers Against Drunk Driving Fuck prohibition them. bullshit. That's, That's exactly what, what this is. Like. That started in a really good place, Mothers Against Drunk and Driving. And it went to a really And now it's just place. a bunch of, like, people who are just irrationally angry at, at, at everything at, at the whole drinking women am i right oh sorry did i, did I misread that yeah your line was yeah. did i say that out loud that was your that was your what, line was that, that that was an inside thought yeah <laughs> no i'm i'm totally joking no it's 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 stupid it's it's not just stupid it's a constitutional violation basically yeah, it is that i can go is. home i can go home and i can drink as much as i want and if the police come to my door and say we think you were driving in the last two hours first of all how do they even know or that here, here's the weird thing or will be driving in two hours that's I, the weirder I part i think this <laughs> yeah. is i no. okay no that that's 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 what the law that's, says that's the thing that's, that's real they that's, suspect you will be driving it, home okay so i haven't read it i haven't had a chance to read in detail on this one so i don't i, I don't it I seems don't know like really ill but, thought out it, it sounds like there's a good intention, but it sounds like really poorly thought I, out. My, it sounds so like my, it's one Supreme so, Court okay. challenge away from so, being struck down. My inclination, because I haven't, believe it or not, I followed our rule and 100% at, as where at all possible to do, do research for this show. Yep. Um, and I haven't actually read anything in detail on this, but I have a, I have a suspicion that this is a uh, Two and change story. versus Her Majesty the Queen of Canada. Done. Let's make it happen. This is going to be... A, yeah, we're going to... We're going to challenge it. We're going to hot fucking this challenge law it. Not, out. <laughs> we are going to fuck... The, uh, not fuck. We're going to hot... <laughs> we're going to fuck... We're not fucking the Queen. Yeah, that we, is not happening. That's... Um, yeah. We're we are going to hot I actually this think that is out. a separate federal crime. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks she's kind of cute? She's yeah. like 93 years you're, old. You're, well, the old pictures. You're... Oh, well, for ninety three, she's doing all right. Oh, like when she was younger, and even now, I mean, she yeah, was kind of smoking not, when she was young. younger. She was kind of smoking when she was younger. Have you have you seen the you know the tracks of land? Yeah, the the great big tracks of land. Tracks of land. <laughs> There's I'm, a reference there, listeners. If you is, got it, you get internet points. This is, this, this is why this is <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things, Josh. This is why we only have like twenty regular listeners. Yeah. Then we pick up like all the random ones, and they're like, "Whoa, fuck this!" this <laughs> no. Yeah. What the hell How? did I just tune into? No, you know what? The queen. What are you doing in my search history? The queen <laughs> was a. The queen was a beautiful history. woman. The queen was an objectively beautiful she's woman. She's still an objectively beautiful woman. Yeah, she's an objectively uh, classy woman. I, I give her the term. Classy. You don't find older. You saying older women can't be beautiful? 
if they're in their Mike? 90s, let's be real. The shit Mike, has just sailed. run away just from stop, this conversation stop. now. Yeah, I've, I've lost interest just, in this conversation. Yes, it's all done. Like, let's yep. move on back to the original conversation, which was about what again? Um, oh, laws. Aboriginal dry. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Uh, yeah, the police can take your breath. <laughs> no, the police can take your breath away. The police you said can this take one your breath. was going to be better. <laughs> the police can take your breath away the Japanese without a warrant. Can come and Trump can take your breath. Yep, the police can take your breath away without take a warrant. Your breath away <laughs> without a warrant. Do do. This is officially parody, so we can keep singing it exactly. <laughs> Blowing every tube until your point oh eight. Boom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that that's all I had. Get out of I have the a master's car. degree in music, folks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's most as I've used. <laughs> Step out of the car, sir. Blow into this something that rhymes with That's great. Yes. That's great. Boom boom. <laughs> Please don't masticate on our tube. That would be great. What? What the fuck does that have to do with? <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. Mastication is don't chewing. Chew. <laughs> don't <laughs> chew on the tube. They have to use it for other people. No, I think I think it's just, okay. I actually, don't know. fun fact: I didn't use masturbate. You should be happy about that. I appreciate you not using. <laughs> Thank that. you. I'm trying to be classy. Now you have. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be classy and not use you the got, word masturbate. You got I masturbation did not know it all was over this. Now. I did not know it was an option to chew on the tube. Uh, so or masturbation. I didn't know that was an option either. It's not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know what? I wonder because sir, can you, you know, blow on this hold tube? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, theoretically, if they could do a blood test for for alcohol level, <laughs> I wonder, like, could you have it in your protein levels and like, uh, like I, hmm. Colleen, you're gonna watch this, and Drunk. we're gonna figure out if you can find out alcohol, uh, blood alcohol content in sperm. It's gonna drunk happen. sperm. <laughs> your sperm are drunk. This is genuine no. curiosity about alcohol content in sperm. This All is right, the same thing. Now swallow, blow into the tube. Let's see what your BAC is. No. <laughs> I wonder if that's, drunk sperm. That's not how that. But that, no, that's not how spit. I I, I wonder. Works. I wonder if drunk sperm would be as good at, infer, at, at fertilizing an egg as non-drunk sperm. If sperm could get drunk, would they be better? Well, or that, worse that's called at fetal alcohol well, no, syndrome. No, no, it's that's right. bad. Well, well, yeah, no, that's not how that works. No, that's not how that works. This no. was supposed to be our classy show. <laughs> good it luck. Tim. It doesn't work at in. It doesn't work on like the actual there's part. A, there's the no vodka gist. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. I don't think the alcohol content is that high in sperm that there's Josh. all your sperm are just going in circles because they can't find their fucking way. Josh, I think we broke him again. Well, we broke him again. Uh, I'm a little broken. There's yeah. that Simpsons episode where there's sperm just like yeah. like banging their like bonk. Oh, don't, oops! Don't sorry about that. I don't know what's in that <laughs> seminal fluid, Jimmy, but oh. <laughs> God. It was strong. I'm pretty certain that was not 100 proof. <laughs> so you didn't drink the alcohol, but if you drank a bunch of jizz, alcoholic jizz, no, can I, they, don't, uh, I don't think they, they, I don't think it, it would measure like that. I I'm just don't wonder if think you can measure. I wonder if there's a, like a like a measure. I'm pretty sure. No, I mean, Virginia under blood, no circumstances will I ever well, submit to a providing a sperm sample to a police officer <laughs> to see if I was what if driving. she's cute. But, but with the with the sperm like <laughs> creation, valid point. But, but with, the, <laughs> with the sperm creation cycle, you might be able to test. And so we like, have video. Like, you all right, might be here's a sample test, cup. You can. You might be able to test like a day later. I think. What? Like oh yeah. Be, okay. Based on how oh. long sperm. So if they suspect that I'm drunk, they lock me up in the drunk tank <laughs> overnight, you jack and off then they cup. force me to provide a sperm sample to test my alcohol level the next day. Uh, there that, are that very painful no, no. ways to get sperm samples. What? Yeah. Uh, do I want to know? No, no, probably not. It involves needles and stuff. Oh well, there, there's that too. I was thinking the fun way. No, no, Jim. <laughs> That's not that, that's not fun. That's not fun. That needles. My, my, fun. Mind your business. That's that's hey, how not fun. Hey, it is. hey. Okay, now we're just <laughs> You like what you like. So the police have given themselves the authority to bang on your door in your private home and demand a breath sample from you breath. in your own home. Not jizz, breath. Breath. Let's be clear. Breath. Yeah. And if you refuse, okay. you can be charged I, with a criminal offense. Okay. You can be charged my, with a criminal I am calling same as, same as bullshit. Our, same as a roadside okay. refusing to give a breath I, I feel which is also bullshit, is, by I the feel way. this is a subtle, probably a subtle change in law that's been sensationalized in the news mm. that probably. may not actually be the case. This is 
one of those. But like, the problem well, is, well, in is that, theory, they could come and search your house yeah, for drugs if they so, like. Okay, yes, in theory, there's a lot of things. Well, they yeah, can but do, no. But here's the thing. I mean, uh, this is where this it. is where I would side more with Mike on with the more libertarian idea. It's like you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Yeah, they will. They will use any excuse under law at some point to. Like and you know we say oh they're getting they're going off drug dealers and drunks great especially what if you're black. wrongfully accused yeah and or you know, indigenous what? or or any yeah, other exactly. marginalized and, community. Hey, look, and let's face it this is a good, anything dealing with any sort of impaired driving drug offenses that's going to disproportionately impact minorities it always does yep and but even like I'm, I don't know if you guys have ever been falsely accused by a police officer I have been I had to beat one of the distracted driving tickets in court before and it was ridiculous oh, um, the fact that the officers beat. like the evidence presented against me was literally nothing more or less than the officer who wrote the ticket saying I saw him that was it. That was the only evidence presented yep. against me. And that was, if I had not given extremely good testimony under oath in response, that would have been sufficient to convict. It's and about what the are, hell? It's and about you evidence are, ratings, though. Like, evident, like, you have a weight to evidence. Yeah. And it's, for better or for worse, there's a pretty strong weighting towards uh, testi- uh, officer testimony. Officer testimony. True. Um, Which, cause they, because the courts, I guess, it... This is unbiased, which bullshit. At, no, no, at, it's it's not unbiased. It's it just it's just, it's deemed slightly less biased, um, <laughs> slightly less because that's it has a weighting. And you know what? The the cops that are notoriously caught over and over, the prosecutor makes sure that they don't show the fuck up anymore. Yeah. So it, it has a, go bit, a little bit of a reinforcing sure sure re- effect. Doesn't matter right. the fact that it would like if I had not been coherent in my responses in court, like if I had stuttered or whatever in court, even though I was like mm. I would have been convicted, e- based on I saw him. If the officer who writes the ticket is the same one who gives the evidence, the eyewitness testimony in court, then to be accused is to be convicted, to be charged is to be found guilty. This is not Russia. That's not how this is supposed to work. And if we're going to enforce these laws the same way on this, like, pound on your door at 2 o'clock in the morning and say, I need a breathalyzer sample from you right now. What? No, no, you laugh. Me but if I go home tonight, if, if I go home tonight <laughs> and at 2 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> an officer Sorry, bangs on my door and demands a breathalyzer sample, and if I refuse, charges me with impaired driving... Like that's that's stupid. which would have been which would have been laughed what? out of court. There's not well no no I mean there's no that would have been laughed out could, of court. But if you're if you're in your car you're sleeping in your car and your keys are near you. That's that's also that's, a criminal that's offense. A, that's been a criminal offense for twenty years. Yeah, but I'm talking now. I'm in my house. Are your like, keys near you? What's the practical? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what's, my car's in the driveway. I mean, in right? theory, what's the practical difference? What's the pra- um private property? And your car isn't? All right. I I'm think on we're a public gonna, road. Okay, I think we're going to have to leave it there, guys, because we are out of time. Oh, you got to um, be kidding me. I haven't done, I haven't finished thrashing the government yet over this. Well, I want, the, like you... I want the Supreme Court to overturn this law. I want well, them whether to, or not you agree with this. Mike or not, make sure you check out our website, 2 Drop a comment if you agree that this is egregious or maybe this is just the thing we need, citizen. Also, anyway. if you know anything <laughs> about uh, alcohol testing and sperm... Like comment. I'm yeah, curious. please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, send, for send, science, <laughs> send a tasteful nude to two and change. No. Ca. Also, <laughs> don't do that. that. Podbean, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. Anyway, for two and change, I'm Tim. I'm Josh. I'm Mike. We'll see you next time with your tasteful nude. Yeah, tasteful nude. Nice. Tasteful nice, Tim. For science. For science. Like, I can see black, it just white. be naked mole rats. That's what people are going to say. It's tasteful. Oh. Send, us, send us naked mole rat pictures. That's fine. Yeah. Or maybe they're boobies. Uh, the what, blue-footed boobies. It's what could, be angry what could naked movie pictures possibly have to do with drunken jizz? <laughs> <laughs> You get a breathalyzer. Yep, they can mandate that. And if you refuse, you could be arrested, just like uh, if you were driving drunk. Yeah. Yarp. <laughs> Try that again. I tried to cut it short because we were running out of time, but then I'll I tell realized... you when we're out of time. It's fine. <laughs> I'm uh, just saying, uh, let's pick up the pace. Let's pick up the pace there, Snappy. That's all it means. All right. All right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Why is this giving me so many damn problems? Just... I don't know. <laughs> because I feel bad for you, son. Stuff.
You have 99 problems in reading the script, apparently, no, is one. No, <laughs> loading the script. <laughs> yep, and loading is the, the script is the other one. That's because all the other apps you've got on your phone are being like, have you seen this new update? Dude, there's, you know, yeah. yeah. it's the porn you watch. Mm. Well, Pornhub in private mode. That's all you need to know. That's a tip for the kids. You've been too in change. Incognito. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Your employer still knows what you're browsing. He doesn't use in private mode because he doesn't care. About viruses. I've used your computer once. I know. Oh, God, I know. I use hand sanitizer a lot after. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> This He's laughing because he knows it's true. No, it's, it's just... <laughs> this, he didn't even know about in private mode. Just, no, yes, yeah, incognito mode. Uh, anyways, just don't drink too much and have it at home. I can't talk. I'm laughing at this still. <laughs> just don't drink too much of it at <laughs> Syphilis. Syphilis. Hey, you can tell. A whale's vagina. Shibboleth. Syphilis, syphilis, syphilis. The whale's for syphilis. Okay, okay. ready? Yes. <laughs>